A plastic bottle, exactly. So we have a plastic bottle for Stella. So Stella, actually, this is an automatic routine. You're going to go ahead and give it to Ike. And Ike is so smart that he knows exactly where that bottle needs to go. Good job, Ike. Yeah, again, he's called a Kia, one of the smartest birds in the world. And Ike tells us it's not the Roadrunner, okay? So, um, it's not he's smart. I mean, he can outsmart the coyote, but it's not one of the smartest birds in the world. So, Stella, what's next? What, what's something else we can recycle? You guys want to help her out? What are some stuff we can recycle? Aluminum can. A can? Yeah, an aluminum can, exactly. So, same thing. Let's give that to Ike and see if Ike can find where it goes. Right there in the bin. And for every can you guys recycle, it actually saves enough energy to run our TV set for about three hours, which is really, really impressive, right? Okay, so Ike says it's not the California condor, and it's not. The condor is a cool bird, but not one of the most intelligent in the world. Stella, what else can we recycle? So we've already said bottles. We've already said cans. What else can we do? Paper. Oh, I heard someone say it. What was that? Paper. Stella, paper. Right? Like our maps. Oh, you see that? Ike is so smart. He just heard the word paper and he took off the wrong answer. Let's see if Ike can recycle that map. So go ahead and hand that to him. And again, um, our maps, we all have zoo maps, right? At the end of the day, put them in the recycling bin at the edge of the zoo. Because again, um, yeah, they're, uh, they're recyclable and paper is a lot of our waste. So, Ike, you already, you, you did it. We kind of tricked you. We put it back. Okay, cool. That's a great horned owl. Um, as, as, opposed, as opposed to a lot of our kind of conception, it's not one of the smartest birds in the world. Hey, Ike, come here. Thanks, Stella, for helping us out. You want to, so this is, again, this is your partner, Ike. Do you want to feed him really fast for helping us out? Cool. So, yeah, put your head nice and flat. Or like that. Awesome. Let's give Stella a huge round of applause. Well done. Now, Stella, come here. So, now, I know it's, it's a little easier now. Which one do you think is one of the smartest birds in the world? Your choices are nothing. African pied crow, nothing, or nothing. Yeah! <laughs> and you can't pull it off. No, 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 no. That's a trick just to help Ike. <laughs> but African pied crow is one of the smartest birds in the world. Stella, give me a high five. You're awesome. You can take off that way. And just to show you guys how smart African pied crows are, I want to introduce you to one. His name is Garfunkel, and he's going to be joining us from right over here. Hi, Garfunkel. This is an African pied crow, again, one of the smartest birds in the world. And to show you how smart Garfunkel is, I want another volunteer. This time, I need an adult volunteer with a dollar bill. Anyone out there have a dollar bill that can help me out? It's a lot of fun. Anybody at all? I see you missing the green. Yeah, you have one. Fives are good. Fives are, fives are better. Yeah. So actually stand right where you are. Okay, stand right there. Take your arm and just stick it out to the side. Okay? Hey, Garfunkel. So we have someone out there with a $5 bill. Here's oh, a $1 bill. Here's what happens when he finds it. He flies out there. He grabs it. Good growth. And where does it go? Oh. <laughs> Nicely done, Funky. Awesome. You were great. That was, that was awesome. You want to try with a five? <laughs> Does anyone have a 20? <laughs> no one falls for that. We're actually going to give you your money back. Funky is so smart, he knows exactly where to put it. So, Garfunkel, also as you see, in the, in the wild, these birds are scavengers. So if you see something on the ground, he's definitely going to go down and check it out. So, Funky, I have the Put your hand just out, just like it was. Perfect. You want to take that back right there? You have to. Okay, good. And as he sticks it in the palm of your hand, wrap your fingers around it. Good job, Funky. That was awesome. Yeah, and... You are a great volunteer. He was also a great, yeah, crows and ravens, super intelligent. He's from Africa. That's why he has that white little pattern on him. But um, the crows that we have around here are just as intelligent, super smart, all right? Um, next up, I need yet another volunteer for Featherly Feud. Anyone out there want to join us on stage? Okay, actually, you, sir, we can use you. Yeah, you! Yeah, and actually, if you want it, you can go under this rope right here, find room, explore the area. And, oh, you want a hand? I like I like the intrepid sense of adventurism. All right, so sir, come over here, my friend. What's your name? Calvin. Calvin, welcome to the stage, Calvin. Your question is another difficult one. It's called what's for dinner. All right, we have um, an a, a bird that's here at the zoo called um, a trumpeter hornbill. Your job is to guess what a trumpeter hornbill is going to eat. Again, it's a bird from Africa, so you have three choices, Mr. Calvin. Your first choice is a delicious hamburger. All right. Does our trumpeter horn, though, like to indulge in a quarter pound 
lump of goodness. That's sesame seeds, some relish, pickles, cheese, good stuff. Or number two, does our trumpeter hornbill like a hot dog? Okay, just as good as the hamburger, but not as classy. Or three, a big plate of fruit and insects. Now, Calvin, you have three choices. One of them is right, two of them are wrong. Now, using your big human brain, what is the correct answer, Calvin? Exactly, right? Trumpeter hornbills, nicely done, man. Trumpeter hornbills eat fruits and insects. Now, as a reward, as a prize for getting the question right, I want to actually introduce you to a trumpeter hornbill. You want to meet one? Cool. So her name is Rosie, and she pops up right from there. So, again, Rosie's a trumpeter hornbill in the wild. These guys love to eat fruit and insects. Now, she's an amazing flyer, Calvin. She's so good. She can actually catch bugs right out of the air. All right? That's what I want to show you guys with the help of a grape. Pretend this grape is a dragonfly, Calvin. You ready? Here's what happens when Rosie spots it. Rosie, are you ready? Dragonfly, and whoo! Whoa, nice <laughs> That was awesome. Calvin, you want to try it? Yeah, okay. I'm going to um, I'm gonna throw the grape. You fly up and catch it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. You can throw the grip. Okay, so hold that. Rosie, come here. Yeah, our friend Calvin has a treat for you. So on the count of three, straight up as high as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Okay, try it again. Okay, let's, ready? Straight up. One, two, three. No! That was awesome, man. That was high five. That was great. Be a pitcher one day. Give Calvin a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. You can take off right down there, Calvin. Yeah, Calvin. That was awesome. And again, that's um, this is Rosie, our trumpeter hornbill. Uh, and that's exactly why you guys don't see a lot of uh, grapes flying around the zoo anymore. <laughs> Not with Rosie zooming around. Now, next up, I need yet another contestant. This time, however, I want someone a little older. Is there anyone out there? Maybe a guy who's who's really competitive. Anyone out here, a, a, an adult man who's really competitive? No, that's, it doesn't matter. We will use you. What's your name, Miss? Morgan. Morgan, welcome to the stage. Just give Morgan a big round of applause as she navigates. She navigates the children. All right, so um, we have to realize that we as humans, we use, you can use the stairs if you like, we use utensils pretty much every time we eat for the most part, right? And we use the utensils, utensils because they work. Right, so I see you kind of investigating our set here, Morgan. Here's what we have. In this, uh, we have a, an aquarium. In the aquarium, we have some water. In the water are little rubber fish. We have eight of them. Okay, they're, they, they're not real. They're fake, okay? Um, for you, okay? Now, um, your job is to get these out of the water, okay? But like any, uh, any good bird, again, all birds have beaks, right? Each beak is really like the bird's utensil, depending on... What they eat, that's the way their beak is shaped. So here's what we have. You have a choice. You can choose your utensil. You can use um, these handy dandy chopsticks, okay? Or if you're feeling extra fancy, you can use the uh, the pink flamingo head. Either way, flamingo or chops chopsticks wisely chosen. Now, all you have to do is as quickly as you can get these fish out of the water with that pair of chopsticks, okay? But this is going to be a race, okay? We actually have someone to race against you, all right? His name is Lloyd. He's a Hadada Ibis, and he's going to be joining us from right over here. So if you guys want to direct your attention that way, Lloyd, at any second, is going to join us. Yes? <laughs> That's Lloyd. As you can see, Lloyd has his own specialized beat, right? He uses that the same way that she's going to use those chopsticks to get them out of, get those fish out of the water. So all you have to do is get your eight piece of fish out faster than Lloyd gets his fish out. I have some fish in my hand. Lloyd has real fish, okay? You guys both have eight, and it's a race. So as soon as Lloyd is ready, as soon as Lloyd pops down here, I'll say go, and we can begin. Ready? Three, two, one, go! And give her a round of applause. Cheer her on, guys. Go human, go human. Oh, Lloyd is going too. We have one. We have one, two, three, five. That's actually, I think that's a human record, guys. <laughs> against Lloyd. Yay! Yay. You can plop him back in, but again, don't feel badly, Lloyd. He always wins, right? It's not a fair fight. You figured out. Lloyd, he's been training to do this for 
literally millions of years. You know, all the birds we have in the show, they've evolved over a long period of time to be really good at what they do. All the animals in the zoo are like that. So as you guys are wandering around, take a look at all the different birds. You see all the different animals. Again, they have a lot of really cool adaptations. Now, you guys have been a great audience. Let's give Morgan a round of applause for helping us out. Yay. Oh, well, hello, kindergartners. All of you guys have a great day at the zoo. We'll be back here at 12 o'clock with a bunch of different birds. But until then, enjoy your day. Thanks a lot, guys. <coughs> Ciao. Are you going to have your Dude.